Hey guys, welcome back to New York Comic Con and NewsRama.com. I'm Justin Tyler. I'm Grace Randolph. And we are here with the Sanchez's, yeah. if I can call yeah. you that. Yeah. We yeah. rarely get to couple people up uh, on this show. Thanks for coming out, guys. Oh, you got it. Thanks for having us. And you're a local now, we hear. Yes. Yeah. We, we are. are. We are living in Park Slope, Brooklyn. Oh, nice. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Has it changed your life? Are you <laughs> eating fresh produce more? We are eating a lot of fresh produce. Well, that's a lie. <laughs> we, was a farm. we go to the farmer's market sometimes. We that's frequent it. <laughs> you see it? Yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. it's a place to be seen. Well, we had to buy a stroller. That was like a prerequisite. So we put our dog in that. Good. Which yeah. has been, it's been good. We didn't know anything about Brooklyn. Yeah. Why did you put your dog in a stroller? <sighs> she's she's old and she just oh. has gone to the point where she refuses to walk. Are people like they think it's a baby they and they're like, oh no, yeah, it's a yeah, yeah. yeah. baby. Baby is strange. Uh, yeah, long hair symbol, I guess it gets the hair from you. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, but it, it must be interesting working. You're doing so much comic work mm -hmm. in addition to all your music stuff. But now you're living in like where the superheroes live in New York City. Yeah. Uh, is that changing the, your process at all? Is um, it, does it influence your work? I think a little bit, like for example, I mean, living so close to the Barclays, I mean, we sort of realized that we kind of left that out in the first Key of Z story. And, and uh, set up what Key of Z is for now. Oh yeah, well Key of Z is basically a zombie apocalypse tale that takes place in New York and all of the uh, stadiums around Manhattan Island are basically warring for control of it. And, uh, and so yeah, we sort of left it out and in the timeline it works, like the Barclays was established, it was the first year the Nets were there. and so. Living so close to it, it was sort of walking it and trying to figure out what makes sense for, for that arc. And so Is hopefully. Is Jay Z going to show up? <laughs> man, 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 man. <laughs> Key of Jay Z. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's oh. we could. I love what, it. what do you guys think of like this new flood of music getting into comics? You know, you have Gerard Way, obviously, Max mm -hmm. Bemis just came out with something. Um, I, think, I think it's cool. I mean, I, I don't really necessarily have an opinion. Of, about it, you know, I just, uh, <laughs> you know, I just, uh, if, if it's good, then it's good, you know, it doesn't, yeah. you know. I think people, cool. you know, you, you can you can certainly see people who are here and want to be a part of the medium because they just love it, you yeah. know, and it's not, it doesn't have to be so like, oh, I'm getting in on this because it's cool. Sometimes it's just a genuine, you know, love of what, what we offer. Yeah, and I think what those guys bring to the table are, is great work, so, and, and you can see that. So. Yeah, uh, that's for sure. Uh, and tell us, you have a superhero book that you're working on in the Ooh. very early stages, maybe. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Um, maybe we've, we may have even talked about it last time we were here. It was like think, just sort of an idea. Yeah, I think yeah, you yeah. said nothing about it. You were like, we might do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, uh, but you are now. Yes, yeah, we are. We are. It was originally titled Slingerland, um, but we just officially renamed it Translucid. Uh -huh. um, and the story basically picks up with a superhero on the last day of his life. Oh, cool. oh, nice! Yeah, yeah. it's sort of like the, uh, the the it's it's sort of a like the villain sort of uses the 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 the, the hero's like con subconsciousness and tr sort of uses his origins to kind of kill him. Oh wow! Um, is it so. like a twenty four hour story or is it flashbacks? Um, it, it's a lot of flashbacks. There, you know, there are maybe three layers of flashbacks uh, where you sort of see him growing up and and how he got to this point and his evolution as a person and then into being a superhero and his demise. So it's, it's cool, you know, we're working out sort of, do we need, we haven't picked an artist yet. Um, mm. Deciding do we want one artist, do we want two, do we want three, do we want to get uh, crazy with oh it, yeah. you know. Reach flashback. That's cool. Right? Yeah. yeah, that's a nice idea. Yeah, just kind of being open. What kind of superhero world is it? Is it like a big, uh, like there are hundreds of superheroes or is oh, he, yeah. the he or she the only one? No, well there, uh, well he's probably the only one. There are, are uh, at the moment, there are villains that, that sort of are inspired by his presence, but it actually takes place in New York. There's another story. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 you had to come exactly. back. <laughs> yeah. He needs to walk his dog in a stroller. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, just, it's what part of his origin. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do a one-off. Make it real. Yeah, exactly. Right. In the life. Nice. Yeah. 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 Um, New York is just such a good place for, you know, for, for big stories. It, it, yeah. The landscape is there. What do you think it's of this? Diverse. How this is blowing up? This is unbelievable. Every year we come here, it just gets like bigger and stronger. It feels better put together, and it's. I mean, this is crazy. Like the badge scenario. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. You feel like a yo-yo <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's right. like I'm in X Files or something. You yeah, have to like, like scan yeah. in and out. Well, security's intense here. They make you scan it. Apparently, if you leave and you don't scan, you can't come back. Oh yeah. wow! Yeah. I had a problem with mine yesterday. Like I was trying to break in. Yeah. I, was, I just didn't scan Switch. out. Apparently, everyone broke in. <laughs> I know it is weird living in New York where you just sort of step into the con. When like yeah. in other places, like San Diego and everything, it's like a whole process. And mm -hmm. here it's just like, oh, it's insane in here. <laughs> uh, now I'm here. Yeah. A little island. Yeah. 
Cool. It's a crazy what do you guys place. think of the, the growth? I mean, you've been here. Yeah, we've been here for, I don't know, five or yeah. five years now. It's just nice not to have San Diego have a monopoly on conventions anymore. Mm-hmm. You know, because a lot of people can't get to San Diego Absolutely. and they feel they miss that experience. Now you can be like, either coast, you can have that con experience. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And there's still a lot of comic focus at this one, at this yeah. point, which That's is nice. very refreshing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I feel like in general people are more positive uh, during your Comic Con than San Diego. <laughs> like, and maybe yeah. that sounds, I don't mean to insult anybody, but uh, everyone's just more wound up, I think. Because mm-hmm. there, there is more space and people, like, more cross genre stuff mm-hmm. is here, I feel like. There's a ton of people all over the place. Totally. Maybe because it's so isolated, like, you don't have to walk down the street. You can leave the con and you can go to a yeah, restaurant exactly. and like, you know, meet up with your friends and you don't feel like you're still stuck in the Right? You know, in Our the bubble. Con lines everywhere. Yeah. I passed the Starbucks line coming back up here. I was like, it's days. <laughs> <laughs> we went to the Pinkberry and there was no one there. Oh, uh, hello, <laughs> yeah. Not a big con destination. So that's yeah. a tip for everybody <laughs> go watching. To Pink Berry. Go to yeah, Pinkberry. Get the mochi. And what's going on with the music? Um, how's, um, how's Kohi going? Yeah, well, at the moment, we're going to do our last uh, tour of the year, um, next starting next week, and uh, and then we'll probably take take some time off and you know kind of figure out what the next plan of attack is. You Write know, some um, but yeah, the comics. In terms of the comics, we're actually going to we've been outlining. Uh, Good Apollo 1, which we actually, back when Good Apollo the record came out, we had an accompanying graphic novel that came with it, but uh, you know, now we sort of want to do a, a more uh, a serial, sort of traditional, like, you know, episodic piece. Do you find that um, your fans pick up both? Do they pick up the album they and do. the graphic novel? Yeah, they, they do. do. Yeah, yeah. The, um, you know, it's, it's you know, it, it, not everybody gets into the conceptual side of things, and it's not really a necess- it's not a necessity to, but... Uh, but for the most part, you know, everybody seems to embrace all the dimensions of, of that, of what Kohi sort of does. That's awesome. They Phenomenal. definitely demand more. You yeah. Know, oh, they, good. Yeah, which is good. It's I feel like that's such a thing now, like, to have a whole world around whatever it is, like, Pacific Rim talking to the, the people doing that. They have so much backstory, like, yeah. like mm. just stacks of books about it, and it's just a movie. Yeah, uh, well, it's crazy, yeah. People just have such a hunger for, like, I like this, I want more inside it, and I want have surround yeah. myself with it. Totally. I feel like that all, you know, it's, a, it's an old school way to be a fan, is to get really involved and, you know, instead of being overloaded with 95 things that you love, you know, maybe picking five and being really yeah, invested right. in those. Mm. Exactly. Love those things. So last question. What are your con must-dos? What do you want to do while you're here? What do I want to do? Well, what do we, well we already did one of them. We had uh, a Spider-Man 121, is it? Yes. That we needed to get grade, that we wanted to grade. We like to... Oh, you know, we're doing that. Yeah, yeah. We don't know yet. We're we waiting. don't know yet. We're just, we just, it's so scary. It's like the SATs or something. <laughs> no, you're right. Right. It's like your kid. You're like, please do well on this yeah. test. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're really pulling for you. You notice like the shortcomings that you yeah. didn't really... Like, oh, ah, <laughs> geez, the staple's a mess. That staple's a mess there. We're not going to get it. I'm going to get a D. <laughs> um, no. that, was, that was like one of the big ones. And then yeah. I think we are just going to kind of walk around and check some stuff out. Yeah. And I think we might buy another key moment. We were thinking 129, Punisher, or Marvel Spot- Spotlight 5, first uh, what Ghost Rider. What do you do with them? What do you have them, are, you having, are they up, like in displayed at your home? No, they're in, in storage. storage. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's so funny to hear that. <laughs> we don't have room in our apartment now, you know. It's like, but they're there. They're there yeah. in our heart. And graded. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. It's like treasure. You hide your treasure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Totally. You unearth it later. No one puts yeah. X's never over the fireplace. Yeah, yeah. right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, awesome, guys. It's always great to hear uh, everything's going well. And I'll see you in Park Slope. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and you guys, well, stay tuned for plenty more from Comic-Con.